they come to the emergency department. That's what we'll be talking about on this week's Hopkins Research Update. Dr. Hout, your study in the current issue of the Journal of Trauma seems to question who needs these when they come to the emergency department. Uh, I agree. I think it's a big question of patients with penetrating trauma. Do they benefit from a spine immobilization with a board and a collar or do they do worse? And we were able to show that actually those patients did worse and had higher mortality, were twice as likely to die if they were spine immobilized before they got to the trauma center. Why does spine immobilization result in an increased risk of death? I think a lot of it has to do with time. Time is of the essence. There are certain patients that get to the hospital quickly enough that we can save them with definitive care at the trauma center, whereas if they had been here five minutes later or ten minutes later, they might not have been able to be saved by the trauma team. Does this call for a change in policy? Absolutely. I think that we empower paramedics to make decisions all the time. And I think in this case we should say most patients do not need a spine, board, and collar, and most can be brought expeditiously to the trauma center without it. Thank you.